नमस्कार हाइपर टेंशन और हाई ब्लड प्रेशर अफेक्ट मोर देन थर्टी परसेंट वर्ल्ड वाइड विच आर मोर देन वन बिलियन पीपल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑल्सो मेन रिस्क फैक्टर ऑफ कार्डियो वैस्कुलर डिजीज स्पेशली करोनरी हार्ट डिजीज और स्ट्रोक एंड ऑल्सो फॉर क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीजेस और हार्ट फेलियर arrhythmia and dementia let's understand what is high blood pressure as you all know what are arteries carry that is blood from your heart all across the body sometimes the pressure of the blood pushing against the walls of the arteries is high this condition is known as high blood pressure or hypertension your blood pressure normally rises and falls throughout the day depending on the activities you do having blood pressure that is higher than normal consistently may result in high blood pressure now let's find out what are the symptoms and how do we know that we have high blood pressure most of the time people with high blood pressure show no signs or symptoms which makes it even more dangerous we only come to know when the blood pressure goes very high and requires immediate attention symptoms like headache shortness of breath are the most common symptoms let's also understand the causes of blood pressure in detail and let us now look at those people who are at the risk of high blood pressure number 1 people who are obese or overweight are at high risk second people who lead a sedentary lifestyle with hardly any activities third smoking or chewing tobacco also definitely have a higher risk fourth consuming too much salt can also cause high blood pressure and fifth sometimes even pregnancy may also cause high blood pressure we need to understand that it is extremely important to manage the high blood pressure as it can lead to many complications like heart attack heart failure memory loss etc let's understand the yogic management yogic techniques help to cope with symptoms better and are not the substitute to medication in some cases however the need for medicine definitely reduces when person has a lifestyle changes and does yoga life properly over a period of time yoga significantly focuses four important lifestyle aspects to manage life ahar food vihar relaxation and recreation and activities aachar behavioral pattern and vichar thought processes first comes ahar diet and nutrition high fiber satvik diet which includes fruits vegetables and whole grains second low salt diet ideally we need only half teaspoon full of salt every day have preferably mineral salt red salt black salt third flax seeds are specially beneficial fourth early dinner at least 3 to 4 hours before you sleep i also suggest one cup of warm water before sleeping this would prevent heart attack at night for high blood pressure avoid food that are high in sodium like papads pickles snacks like chips salted nuts processed and packaged food gassy foods like potatoes cabbage etc avoid consuming heavy protein especially at night like kidney beans chickpeas etc now let's understand about vihar that is rest recreation and sleep and activities people suffering from high blood pressure are mostly workaholic working hard or workaholic is fine but person must take out time for other activities in life and that is some hobbies like gardening stopping to look at the flower and smelling it spending some time with family members and what is more important is taking walk in natural surrounding in the institute many people come who are suffering from hypertension and they really get benefit from this understand practice conscious relaxation technique like shavasan and dhanasan do shavasan or dhanasan at least twice or thrice a day for 10 15 minutes also do some asanas regularly 
एंड दोज टू फॉर अवर एक्सिबिटीज लाइक उत्कटासन हस्त पद अंगुष्ठासन एंड सुप्त भद्रासन नेक्स्ट कम्स आचार एवरी डे रूटीन एक्टिविटीज फर्स्ट मेंटेन डिसिप्लिन वेन इट कम्स टू मील एंड रेस्ट टाइम सेकेंड सन बेदिंग ऑन बैक एंड कीप फीट वॉक If possible, using hot water bag on abdomen after meals. Third, watch out the symptoms like heaviness in head, dizziness, and so on. Fourth, learn and practice yogic kriyas and yoni mudra. Fifth, practice some simple asanas like yastikasan, matsyasan, parvatasan, and some meditative postures. Sixth, variation of viprit karde. that is lifting the legs resting towards the wall and lying down in a relaxed way finally let's understand vichar that is thought processes number 1 the best way forward is to accept your condition and focus on managing it have faith in higher reality and remember that every being is taken care of second develop awareness of your thoughts in the mind maintaining awareness and cheerfulness during work and doing it with dedication and joy in a relaxed way third write 10 positive points in your diary every day fourth practice anitya bhavana the understanding that nothing is permanent fifth practice of parikarmas helps us to manage relationship with people and our emotions sixth practice vairagya bhav objectivity to develop relaxed attitude in our life all these yogic techniques will help managing your high blood pressure if you practice the method just mentioned regularly you will no longer feel distressed in your condition and your life will soon return to normalcy namaskar